Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about why I sold my Dune limited edition from the Fooly Society and why I decided to go back to the fine edition, this one right here. But let's go back to 2020 when the Dune limited edition from the Fooly Society was released. I remember being at work when I received the email from the Fooly Society uh, where they um, made it known that this limited edition was for sale and I remember being very excited. I went to the site, I checked, checked it out, it looked really good. Um, I did realize that it was Sam Webb again. It was uh, pretty much the same illustrations uh, and I, I did think about that at the time but my fear of missing out was too big so I still decided to buy it. Um, because I knew it just was going to sell out rather quickly, and it did. Uh, so at the time I was uh, I was very excited. I uh, thought it would be a perfect upgrade for uh, from my fine edition. Since I am a big Dune lover, it's uh, probably my favorite science fi fiction novel. Uh, so I thought it would be the perfect, uh, the perfect edition to own. So I purchased it, I received it. And I did really enjoy it. It um, the book itself it was uh, had a larger format than the fine edition. It had just a, one additional illustration by Sam Weber, but I still thought it was fine. Uh, it came in a clamshell box that you opened up. Inside there were an art print, a commentary book with two essays, and some uh, yeah the appendices and an art print by Sam Weber and also a um, fold-out map. So all of this was pretty good, I was happy with it. Um, and yeah, I placed it on my shelf, I, I had it. You've probably seen the video and you've probably seen uh, some bookshelves tour with the book on my shelves. But then this year I started thinking about the limited edition uh, more critically and that's when I came to the conclusion that um, I don't really need this limited edition. It wasn't that much of an uh, upgrade from the full site fine edition at all really and I'm gonna talk about uh, why, I, why I think that. So first off the main thing that really bothered me was the uh, clamshell box that the book came in. You know that uh, you open it up and there is the book. But the thing with that clamshell box is that you couldn't really uh, you couldn't really showcase it on the shelf in a good way. You had to have the uh, the opening front part of the clamshell box uh, f showing f showing that part, and that takes a lot of space because if you put it on the sideways like I have done with these ones, um, then it just part of the design. There's no text saying Dune by Frank Herbert, there's nothing, it's just like an ugly part of the design. So you have to show showcase the full clamshell box, which really annoyed me after a while because I didn't enjoy the design either that much. Um, so it wasn't, um, it started to annoy me. Uh, and that was probably a year and a half after I purchased the limited edition. I was just a bit tired seeing that the box every day and uh, it didn't really bring much to my own enjoyment. Um, so that was the first thing that started to annoy me with this edition, that I couldn't place it on the shelf similar to limited editions like here. Um, I just had to showcase the whole box uh, for it to make sense, otherwise it would look pretty bad unless I took out the Dune <laughs> book and place it on the shelf, but then why would I have a box like that? I, where would I store it? Uh, yeah, it was a whole mess. Uh, so that's the first thing that uh, made me a bit annoyed about the limited edition. But then I also started thinking about the content inside the book itself. And you know, the, the format, it was a bit bigger than the fine edition, which was nice, but um, this, there were just one additional illustration by Sam Weber, and the illustration that was an addition wasn't that. It was it was not that uh, 
uh, it was not that good to be honest. It uh, it doesn't make owning the limited edition just for that illustration worth it at all. I don't think. Um, so just the lack of additional content started bothering me, and I started thinking back like, is it why is this limited edition um, an upgrade to the fine edition, which costs significantly less? Um, so that was the second thing that started annoying me. And then pretty much everything collapsed when I started thinking about the companion book, which felt rather sheepish, sheepish for an expensive limited edition like that. It uh, didn't look good. Inside were two essays, sure, but it was also the appendices which are in this book. You already have the appendices here, so they just move move them from this uh, from the edition, the regular book to the companion book, which was uh, also a bit weird. Um, and then we have the art print, which I also didn't really like, not even at the time when I received the book. I thought, what am I gonna do with this art print? Uh, I'm not gonna put it. <laughs> I'm not gonna, you know, frame it and put it on the wall. It wasn't anything special at all. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of those, you know, art prints and things you get. Uh, I know I got one for the Beowulf edition, but I'm not a big fan of it. I am um, i don't like having small things. I just want a book pretty much. That's all I want. I don't want <laughs> uh, things that can fall out and things that I don't know what to do with. Similar with these um, Tolkien books, they have the same problem. You get a lot of, you know, maps and things like that. And maps, the limited edition had a map as well. I'm not a fan of having fold out maps anymore. Uh, they feel like I, they're not useful. I'm, then they are very big as well. So where am I gonna put it while reading? It just doesn't make sense. The end papers is a much better place for maps or having like a fold out map inside the book is much better than having like a full uh, full uh, map um, that is folded. So those things were um, some, some things that I, I started to annoy me and I, I didn't like having them. I just wanted the book itself. And uh, that's when I really started thinking, why why not just sell this book and get the fine edition back because this is perfectly fine it has it has everything contained within in the book i don't need any of the other stuff so after about was it two and a half years i decided to sell the limited edition from the full society uh, i didn't list it for those outrageous prices that some people do I put it on a fair, pretty fair price in my opinion. I wanted, uh, I wanted someone who loves the book to buy it. I don't want to make a huge profit because I never buy limited editions to sell them later. Um, sure, I did make my money back and a bit more, but it, um, it wasn't to those extreme prices that some people are trying to sell that limited edition for. But I did sell it. And uh, it was fairly easy to find a buyer for the price where I put it, since it wasn't too high. Uh, and I honestly, I don't regret it at all. I'm very happy with the, the fine edition. Uh, the reason for why I bought the limited edition was pretty much a fear of missing out. It was a lot of hype. I didn't think too clearly while purchasing it. And uh, also I knew that it wouldn't be too much of a risk buying that book. Because if I didn't like it, I always knew that if I sell it, I will make back the money at least. Since it's such a popular title. So it was pretty easy uh, decision to make the purchase. But I do regret doing so uh, in hindsight. Because it was, I don't like making expensive uh, purchases for books that I'm not extremely happy with. Uh, and I have made, made uh, quite, not that many, but a handful of purchases that I'm not very happy with afterwards and that's always a shame you want to be very very happy with the book when it costs uh, that much but yeah those were the reasons for <laughs> deciding to sell my limited edition from the full society of frank herbert's dune um yeah i'm probably i'm probably gonna stay with this edition i'm not gonna upgrade it i'm happy with it 
uh, and that's uh, how it will be. But thank you all so much for watching and thanks for listening to me talk once again. See you all next time.